I'm bored and the current challenge on the Desmos subreddit is in 3D, so let's make a 3D grapher from scratch. Disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing and haven't the slightest clue how 3D graphics work. Okay, so you know how if you have a cube and it spins, the points kind of form a circle shape? Let's start with that. We can create models and cylindrical coordinates to make stuff easier for us, and some sines and cosines later. We now have one axis of rotation. This is kinda cool, but it mostly just sucks, so let's get another axis of rotation. Okay, so to make this cooler, you know how if you look down, you're just stretching out the circle that the points move around? Well, let's implement that. Now we have our circles getting stretched out, but that's not very realistic. Something's missing. That something is that when all of our circles are fully stretched out, they should be on top of each other. Meaning, we need to change the height of the circles. That's pretty easy, just slap a cosine next to H and now we have two axes of rotation. Now we could go for three, but I'm lazy and two is enough for me. Now we run into another problem though, and that's that we're graphing this orthographically. What does that mean? Well basically, if we look at this black circle, is it in front of the blue circle or behind it? How about now? Exactly, you can't tell because objects closer to you are the same size as objects further away. This can be useful in some context, but I don't like it, so we're gonna make this a perspective 3D grapher, which means that closer objects look bigger. Here's a cool visual to demonstrate the difference. So to create the illusion of perspective, we just need to take what we would expect with perspective and stretch it out to orthographic. This means we need to determine the Z of a point, or how close it is to the camera, and scale it accordingly. So let's do that. Okay, so here's the function for how you do that. How does it work? Basically, this part adds how close the point is to the camera based purely off its height, then this takes into account the rotation and radius. Now that we know the Z coordinate of our points, we can create a distance slider and multiply everything by D over D minus the Z position of each point. It actually works, and since it uses trig instead of lists and sums, it runs fast. That's about all I have to say, so have some cool visuals before the video ends.